in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O my God, I am heartfully sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishment, but most of all, because I have offended Thee, my God, who is all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Compassionate Lord, we pray for those who have been devastated by recent natural disasters. We remember those who have lost their lives so suddenly. We hold in our hearts the families forever changed by grief and loss. Bring them consolation and comfort. Surround them with our prayer for strength. Bless those who have survived and heal their memories of trauma and devastation. May they have the courage to face the long road of rebuilding ahead. We ask your blessing on all those who have lost their homes, their livelihoods, their security, and their hope. Bless the work of relief agencies and those proving emergency assistance. May their work be guided by the grace and strength that comes from you alone. Help us to respond with generosity in prayer, in assistance, in aid to the best of our abilities. Keep our hearts focused on the needs of those afflicted, even after the crisis is over. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Most merciful and compassionate God, giver of life and love, hear our prayers and let our cries come unto you. We weep with your people. We hear the cries of orphaned children and laments of bereaved parents. We feel the desperation of those searching for loved ones. We behold the silence of vanished villages. We see the devastation. We are overwhelmed by the enormity of it all. Our hearts are hushed, our minds are numb. Let not our hands be stopped, our voices dumb. God of the universe, open our hearts to feel your compassion. Galvanize in us the act of continued giving. Bond us to our sisters and brothers in need. Comfort and heal the injured, the bereaved, the lost. Strengthen the aid workers and medical personnel. Bolster the resolve of governments and those with power to help. Open through this tragedy pathways to partnerships and peace. In your name of mercy and healing and compassion, we pray. Amen. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Lord, please be with the rescue workers and keep them safe as they make heroic efforts in dangerous situations to rescue those in trouble. Lord, please be with everyone waiting to be rescued, keep them safe, and bring help to them soon. God, bless each and every person affected by this storm and surround them with your love, protection, and angels. 
Let them know there are millions of us out here praying for them and their loved ones. We give you all the praise and glory forever, Lord, and know that even in the darkest hours, you are always with us. Gracious God, I pray for the victims of this disaster, Lord, that you would comfort the lives that were spared, Lord, and that you would take care of those who perished. Lord, please bless those who are doing everything they can to help these people, and also make sure that things run smoothly in repairing this great community slash state slash nation. Please help the victims to have patience, and also help family members to be reunited. Lord, I pray that you will ensure that the victims do not come under any illnesses from this disaster, and I also pray that they get enough food and clean water and proper shelter for everyone. Lord, please touch the hearts of the world to continue to pray for these people and also to donate whatever they can to help rebuild this wonderful state. Lord, only you can make miracles happen, and I am asking for one now. Amen. Holy One, you are our comfort and strength in times of sudden disaster, crisis, or chaos. Surround us now with your grace and peace, through storm or earthquake, fire or flood. By your Spirit, lift up those who have fallen, sustain those who work to rescue or rebuild, and fill us with the hope of your new creation, through you, our Rock and Redeemer. Eternal Father, you made the whole world stop spinning for a while. You silenced the noise that we all have created. You made us bend our knees again and ask for a miracle. You closed your churches so we will realize how dark our world is without you in it. You humble the proud and powerful. The economy is crashing, businesses are closing. We were very proud. We thought that everything we have, everything we possess, was the result of our hard work. We have forgotten that it was always your grace and mercy that made us who we are. We're running in circles looking for some cure to this disease, when in fact we need to humble ourselves and ask you for guidance and wisdom. We've been living our lives like we will be here on earth forever, like there's no heaven. Maybe these trials are your mercy in disguise, maybe this virus is actually your way of purifying us and cleansing our souls, bringing us back to you. Today, as these words travel the internet, may all who see them join their hearts and hands together in prayer, asking for forgiveness and asking for healing and protection from this virus. God, just wipe it from the earth. Father, you have been patiently waiting for us. We're sorry for ignoring your voice and in our selfish ways, we've sometimes forgotten that you are God. You only need to say the word and our souls shall be all healed. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.